Hello guys, today I want to show you one of the most typical mistakes in PHP I've seen over the years of my career, including done multiple times myself. So here's the code on the screen. It's kind of a fake code, doesn't really matter what that do with licenses. And do you already see the error? If not, let's go step by step. What that does is it has a function of type that type needs to be checked for example with what it starts with and then returns true or false and then after the loop of wrapping all the types we check if the initial type was array or string and return that as well so if we launch that has license with a string the result is type string has license true but that doesn't really matter what matters is this result now if we launch that with array which should return the array here because the array is the type. We comment that one out. We launch with Tinkerwell, but the type is string. So this doesn't work. Why? Maybe now you see the error. So yeah, multiple, multiple times in my career, I've done it myself as a junior developer, is doing a loop and then naming the iteration variable the same as some outside variable. Which means that the value of the type will change with every iteration and that initial value will be gone. And it's not necessarily about as type, it would be the same if you use that variable for something like this inside. So the same thing would happen. So the error that I'm talking about is overriding the value using the same variable names as outside of the loop. And the worst part with that is that you don't see the error, the code actually works. And if you don't test that with various scenarios, you can easily skip that and don't even notice the error and push that code to production. Now, what are the solutions? First, of course, the obvious solution is to give clear variable names. So in this case, for example, it could be license type here and then license type here and the type is kind of like an iterator kind of a temporary variable which is shorter another option is of course use something like row here or line here general purpose but this is also possible that you use the same variables outside so be careful with that the most reliable solution against that is automated tests so if you expect two different results here array or string of course this example is artificial in real life it would be not array string but some kind of true or false value or some cases then you need to write automated test method for each of those possible values pass a string and assert that the result is as expected pass an array and then assert the result is different so yeah you can protect yourself from two ways human side and automated side and since of course naming is hard in coding i wouldn't really trust humans especially if it's a team of multiple developers and some part is written by one developer and then the loop is written by another developer i wouldn't trust that all the variables would be always named logically another argument for writing automated tests and if you haven't started doing it one of my most popular courses is this one laravel testing for beginners two hours of videos and i will update that for laravel 11 in a few months but laravel 11 doesn't change much about testing the logic should be the same so you can go through that course step by step i will link that in the description below that's it for this time and see you guys in other videos